Hello there, my name is Janet. Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn how the present simple tense is used to express the future time. Now, we use the present simple tense to anticipate things on basis of a timetable, programs, itineraries, travel or entertainment arrangements. For example, we have a program here for Toshiba High School Press Giving Day. And the program has been written in the present simple tense to anticipate on that press giving day or to show or to express what will happen in the future in the press giving day. We have at 10 a.m. arrival of the guests. You will notice that um, in this 10 a.m. arrival of the guest is in the simple present tense. Signing of the visitor's book book next tour of the school all guests and students assemble in the social hall that is also again in this present simple tense prayers national anthem praise giving uh, principles reports rep uh, we have speeches photo thanks closing uh, prayers lunch departure of guests of honor and other guests now you will notice that Many a times when we are putting down a program, then we use the present simple tense and program, programs are documents that are meant to be used in the future. Now, events in the program can be expressed in the present simple tense. For example, uh, at 10 a.m. from the program, uh, you can see it is arrival of guest of honor. You can also say the guest of honor arrives at 10 a.m. This is in the present simple tense. The guest assemble in the hall. Assemble is in the uh, present uh, simple tense. The entertainment begins at 11.15, begins again, is in the uh, present simple tense. Uh, the press giving starts at 12.30, starts again. The function ends at 3 p.m., ends is... Um, in the simple present tense, the guest of honor, the last one, lives at uh, lives after lunch. It is uh, the leave. The word leaves. The verb leaves is in the simple uh, present simple tense. Now, now we have said that those verbs we have arrives, assemble, begins, and starts, leaves, are in the present simple tense, and in this case, they have been used to imply a future action and b we can also ask questions using the present simple tense to express future times we link again to the program when does price giving begin when does the price giving begin now here we have uh, asked a question by use of does to show or to express the future time what time does the entertainment end does again has been used uh, in asking a question to show or to express future time. When does the guest of honor tour the school? When do the speeches begin to express future time? We have a small task here on the same. Using the information from the program, fill in the blanks in the following sentences using the present simple tense to express the future. One, the principal dash is report at 1 p.m. Now, the answer will be the principal gives is report at 1 p.m. or the principal reads is report at 1 p.m. Two, the entertainment comes, sorry, the entertainment dash after the national anthem. When we fill this uh, using this uh, present simple tense to express the future, we will have the entertainment comes or begins after the national anthem. And three, at 11.15 a.m., the guest of honor dash the visitor's book. The visitor's book at 11.15 a.m., the guest of honor signs the visitor's book. Now, and C, the present simple tense can also be used in the negative to indicate future time. And this is done by using the present form of the verb to do plus not plus the main verb. We look at examples still from the program. The guest of honor arrives at 10 
a.m. Now the guest of honor does not arrive until 10 a.m. We have been told that the present uh, simple tense can also be used in negative to indicate future time by using the present form of the verb to do and plus not plus the main verb now. In this sentence, uh, we have uh, the present form of the verb to do. We have does. Present form of our verb to do. Plus the word not. And then plus the main verb, which is arrive. And this is also used to express the future time. Another example, the speeches begin at 1 p.m. Here we have the speeches do not begin until 1 p.m. We have here the uh, form of the verb to do plus not plus the main verb begin. The guest of honor leaves at 3 p.m. And so... Uh, we have the guest of honor does not leave before 3 p.m. We have uh, here uh, the verb or the form of the verb to do plus not plus the main verb. That is it for this lesson on how the present simple tense is used to express the future time. Thank you so much for watching this one and I hope this helps you to improve on your English. Kindly remember to like Please share this video and also subscribe to this channel. See you in the next lesson.